morning everyone welcome back to my channel it's Terry and another edition of an orchid a day today I wanted to kind of show off my collection of a particular genus that I'm very proud of to have this is the Bible as far as I'm concerned even though it's not the most comprehensive well it kind of is but it uh, it's sort of outdated, but it is still the Bible as far as I, was, I am concerned, and I've had it for so long that it has completely fallen out of its binding, and so I have to keep it in this leather binding. But this is the list that I have been talking about forever, my first orchid order. Well, I don't think I ordered most all of these plants. I might have. Uh, but I do know I don't have a single one of them, of these original plants in my collection. This had to be in the 1990s. But anyway, yeah, you can see the plants that are on this list. And it was from someplace in Hawaii that I was going to order these from. Yeah, Aride is my trata, which I have. That's now Cita Nevada. Corna Servi, Grandiflora. Medusa. I do not have a Medusa. Pandorata. Epidendrum ciliare. So yeah. But today, I wanted to talk about the group that used to be in Epidendrum, but is now Parkinsonianum. I mean, not, that is now Colostylus. I have three of the species that were that were removed from uh, the genus of Epidendrum and are now in Colostylus. First one is Parkinsonianum, which says it's from Mexico, grows in shade, although I have mine in a little bit more sun. And you water when the, it says flowers are developing, but I take that to mean when the new growth start because the flowers arise from the new growths. Also, in that same genus of Colostylus, Oyster Day, Orstedii, Orst Orstedii, Orst Orst uh, and there's the flower. You can see they're very similar, and they are often confused. But Orstedii, Cattleya-like habit. It's not as uh, pendant growing as the others are, and again, it says it uh, flowers from the young growths which is what I just said at the beginning of the rainy season from May to June, which is about now. And then the last one is Epidendrum falcata, falcatum, which again, lipophytic to Mexico, moderate altitudes, the swollen stems are very brittle, grows on rocks as lithoph lithophytic plants do. Produce the white flowers, said to be a variety of Parkinsonianum. Again, heavy water heavily after flowering once growth me, me, reaches maturity. Water sparingly, cultivate in high shade, light shade, intermediate conditions. So, having said all of that, now that you know what the plants like, this is my Parkinsonianum. I will put that right here next to my Colostylus orsterdei or steadii, which I had pointed out in my update that I had I had got this from Andy's last summer, Andy's orchids, and it was on this mount. Uh, I grew it all, all over the winter, uh, had it hanging high in my greenhouse, uh, still misted daily but not watered much other than mist. And this spring, as you have to do with all of Andes, you have to repot, remount them. You can take them off of the mount and remount them, but you have to remove some of the old media that he has on those mounts, because generally his mounts come with the plant and then there's some sphagnum to keep the plant hydrated, but th that sphagnum de decomposes over time becomes stale and acidic and you have to remove that or else the plant will die. Same as this one. I got this plant, I had to 
get it off of this mount. I did remove par 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 I partially removed the majority of it, but I really wanted to get what was underneath on top of the mount away from the plant most of all because honestly I didn't mind if these roots stayed on this log because they do like it so I more or less peeled these this the top part of the plant back released it and then took the the moss that was underneath it replaced it and then put the plant back and wrapped it back around as soon as I did that well I did that uh, in the spring March April as soon as I well I just noticed uh, there's a new growth that's a new growth right there there's more new growths there's one up here right there so I'm very pleased with what's going on with this plant right now now the other one, trifecta, well, okay, see this is the brittle plant so I'm really trying to be careful with it because it has uh, fallen down on me a couple times and has required me to reattach it, but you can see holding these side by side how there can be a lot of confusion and as you saw in the pictures flowers are relatively s very closely similar barring a few specific details but relatively similar and uh, so this is my falcata and this again I got this over the winter it hung out a window on in my greenhouse in the south window got cool temperatures there it's still misted because it is mounted um, in the spring I had to do something with it I had to get it off of this mount and so I did and it fell right off and it actually broke into a few pieces one of the pieces I put on this piece of cork and it did produce some roots down there that ended up meeting this mount and dying and now it's producing another root right there so I'm hoping that that root takes to this mount or else I'm going to get it off of this mount as well but back to the main plant um, when it fell down it fell in about three or four pieces and so I more or less just uh, aligned the pieces up on the mount so that they were still pendant and just wrapped the string around them very carefully and as you can see in just that relatively short amount of time there's new roots there's new growth this is a new growth since that there's another new growth there's more roots and I love these roots because the roots are very dark tipped not the usual green tipped. They have dark, almost reddish tips to them. More down here. So, despite this being a lithophytic orchid, it is really doing well on this wood. Well, this is a piece of tree fern that it is, I don't think there's some roots that are in the tree fern yet but they are fastly approaching that tree fern so yeah that is my trifecta colostylus up here colostylus uh orstedii or orstedii i guess orstedii i would say orstedii probably it's probably someone's name it's parkinsonianum which since i first report reported on this plant in the spring and I reported that it had gotten these new growths. It has since chucked out one, two, there's one right there, there, three, and then around on this side, there's one right there. So I am very much flabbergasted in the growth that I've gotten on these plants, all three of them. 
because especially my Parkinsonianum is one, I had a really big one that I lost over the winter, last fall winter when my greenhouse froze. So I'm glad that it was replaced with one that is very vigorous, but again, I need to, I'm gonna have to replace the sphagnum at some point. But at the moment, it does seem to be very vigorous. So I will leave things as they are and continue on doing what I'm doing. But that was what I wanted to show you today, everyone. And if you enjoyed my video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Appreciate you all so much in watching. Thanks again and happy growing. Bye.